I am Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Ali Rahman, the founder of Atonio. Ali, welcome to the show and thank you for taking the time to be here today. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. I'm excited to dive into Atonio and some of the liquidity issues in the DeFi industry right now and how you guys are approaching that. I would love for you to just kick it off for us with a high level overview and the focus of Atonio and then we can dive into those details. All right. So we're developing intelligent trading tools and infrastructure. That is our focus. Our current suite includes a multi-chain decentralized exchange, a liquidity mining protocol, decentralized AI, and an algo trading terminal. I'll dive more deeper into what these tools really do. So DeFi and crypto markets are largely in unpredictable, especially if you rely on your intuition. Trading bots and AI, on the other hand, have a better shot and more consistent returns. But then either these tools are not available or it requires specific knowledge to utilize them, making them inaccessible. And that's where we come in. Um, mm -hmm. We want to enable our users to navigate the space with privacy, profitability and ease. Mm -hmm. We believe that we can build a prosperous community around algorithmic trading. Very interesting, Ali. Well, that's great to have uh, a different little suite of products there. And it is, there are a lot of barriers to entry, I find, even those that are experienced with trading on centralized exchanges still haven't really jumped into the DeFi uh, ecosystems just because uh, it's it's a little uh, it's a little scary when, when you have to, you know, manage a lot of different uh, little technical pieces yourself and uh, the decentralized exchanges, having them spread out is and, and not really cohesive with one another is another barrier to entry but i know you are working on this multi-chain uh, decentralized exchange mm -hmm. could you talk more about the the exchange itself and some of the competitive advantages over uh primary decentralized exchanges like like uniswap uh for sure yeah, yeah first first i think let's let's talk a bit about about liquidity to really understand and appreciate the, the advantages that our, that our product has. Definitely. So liquidity has been a central concern, extremely important for um, for exchanges, token projects, and just is indicative mm -hmm. of the health of a specific market. And DeFi, it's safe to say that liquidity is really the backbone of DeFi. And now the first gen AMMs that we've seen, like Uniswap, and they've done an amazing job. And uh, we've seen a lot of growth. We can see that, that how how DeFi has really grown uh, as a result of this. But mm -hmm. the first generation AMMs are, have a lot of limitations. And uh, so one of them is capital inefficiency. So mm -hmm. you have impermanent losses, you have high slippage, then you face an issue of liquidity fragmentation. You have all these amazing, amazing ecosystems. You've got ETH, you've got Polygon, Solana, now Cardano is coming out. So you've got all of these amazing ecosystems, but they have their own liquidity pools that are rather fragmented. And then there's no interoperability between these. So these are, I think, the primary issues when it comes to liquidity and uh, mm -hmm. that first generation AMMs didn't intend to and couldn't solve. And, and I think the next generation of AMMs, which is what we're working on, uh, a multi-chain exchange, it really focuses on on some solving some of these issues. Um, as to how it does that, um, let's talk about that. There's IMM, we're introducing something we call the IMM mm -hmm. or the Intelligent Market Maker that's comparable to the existing AMMs. And uh, um, so there's the IMM that we're working on. The multi-exchange multi protocol approach that we've taken, it allows us to build liquidity across these different networks, say Cardano, say Polygon. And uh, this along with cross-chain liquidity aggregation, that really solves uh, the major issues that we see of liquidity liquidity fragmentation, capital inefficiency. So all of these things together really help for deeper liquidity, healthier liquidity pools, and uh, much, much, much more sustainable. And that's what that's what we think that really separates us from, from some of the existing offerings that are out there. Definitely, Ali, and thank you for that background. And yeah, you're right that the liquidity is obviously going to be very key, even when uh, Uniswap recently moved to, to version three, uh, and you know they they are leading the way in the decentralized exchange universe here. It seemed like there was a lack of liquidity uh, just moving over, and never mind moving to other chains as well. So I'm I'm curious if you have these multiple chains and, and a, a multi-chain DEX that you're building. How do you increase the liquidity beyond you know the liquidity that is already sort of preset for each different type of exchange to make that cohesive match? Yes, yeah, so, that, so that, that's an interesting question. That that is a 
the aspect of this cross cross chain liquidity aggregation protocol that we're working on so these these ecosystems will have fragmented liquidity across these different chains and what we need is a protocol that really seamlessly helps with this interoperability with um across these exchanges even when we speak of liquidity there's 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 liquidity woes and issues in centralized finance uh, which one we're not going to get into now but with uh, with texas that's the thing it's uh, and it's a lot of people have taken different approaches to this going this route where they work on this cross chain liquidity protocol first and then go out and 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 try to plug in these different networks and we've taken a different approach we're mm-hmm. we're interested in 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 deploying and and building liquidity across these chains and then being able to connect them and uh, yeah that's what that's what that's what we're set out to do it's a great focus ali and i'm curious the growth of the defi industry has really uh, exploded over the last 12 months uh, and with nfts included in that defi and nfts seem to be the major trends right now has the way that defi has exploded so quickly impacted the way uh, that you've been building and scaling atonio from from the start first i think we should let's, let's take us just take a moment to appreciate how far we've come with defi last mm-hmm. year in june we had about a billion dollars in total value locked across these lending protocols and emms and here we are now with a little over 60 billion dollars in total value locked so wow that has been an exciting um increase and uh, it just goes to show the interest is there a lot of people innovating doing some amazing stuff um what what this shift has done is a lot of these institutions bigger companies public companies private companies are starting to catch a uh, catch on on the value proposition of defi we having launched the project in 2017 we believe that decentralized finance is already changing and will transform how you know the, the, the traditional finance and uh, it's great to see that a lot of people are catching on how that impacts us is it it really creates a boost it instills confidence in our holders and our investors and uh, they're able to better appreciate what we're doing how the, the sol- problem we're solving affects the 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 bigger defi ecosystem so so this has had a very positive impact it gives us confidence that what we believed uh, when we built one of the first uh, decentralized exchange market makers for bitshares dex which was uh, one mm-hmm. of the earliest dex out there um and the value that that it has and we we feel we feel very confident in our in our approach and that we're we're here to stay and that defi is here to stay so it's been it's been fun definitely it's a huge increase and i'm sure many would still agree that it's very early and 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 60 billion compared to the traditional stock market uh is is almost nothing uh so there's still so many strides to go um so it is very exciting and i was looking into uh, the protocol and i saw that uh, you also have a, a native a uh, governance token and and a functional token within the ecosystem the i n n i o x token can can you talk a little bit about that how it functions in atonio and, and does it create a sustainable ecosystem for atonio as well hmm. ninox is at the very core of our ecosystem so the the primary utility of the token is is governance and platform access the token is utilized uh, to grant users access to premium features for instance i talked about decentralized ai so having access to these ai agents having access to trading strategies buying selling them or mirror trading so staking gives you staking is a primary function you you have your token you can stake them and you can get access to these different tiers with uh, different features functionalities fee rebates and things as such the second aspect of staking is if you stake more than 300000 tokens you are able to join the dao and participate in governance so the dao mm. itself has uh, a lot of the benefits and uh, a lot of use cases but as it stands you need to stake more than 300000 tokens in order to join the dao however we're coming out with a uh, lower tier staking options and we'll be announcing that in a, in a few weeks and when it comes to the token model I'm I'm very pleased to say that we've had the opportunity to partner and collaborate with a with a with a company called Origin and uh, these guys have decades of experience in uh, traditional markets in quantitative finance and token models and we've collaborated with them to come up with this novel token model that it, that really creates a circular uh value capture economy and and is geared towards uh, a sustainable uh, future for the token and uh, we've shared this within the dao already and we're really excited to present this to the wider audience and i'm pretty sure that when they do go through it they understand the um the value that this model has and and how it's uh, it's going to survive the test of the markets mhm it's really interesting that you mentioned the dao there i i've seen 
uh, more projects recently trying to focus on a decentralized autonomous organization from the get-go to build more of a community platform and give the community a say through the governance token and through voting uh, on the future of, of growing the platform and shaping it into the way uh, that the community wants. Um, and that's really interesting that you have uh, you know, a threshold for the NIOX tokens and that you're creating a lower threshold. Um, can you talk about that, uh, that, that goal of having a decentralized platform? How much are you looking to get feedback and, and involvement from the community? And, and what exactly else can they do to help shape uh, the platform? Mm. So Autonio has always been a community-driven project. And uh, uh, in 2020, we, we took the first steps towards transitioning to a decentralized organization. Um, the the DAO members, the, the, we currently have about 60 members in the DAO and they have several benefits. We, we like to think of it as an exclusive club and uh, um, the benefits that the stakers have is they receive inflation rewards. So there's an annual inflation baked into the system. So they receive the staking rewards, they get access to different platform features and also the, the protocol fees is generated is again distributed to the DAO stakers. Um, to take this a step further, we have we're offering our DAO members uh, access to um, promising projects in the space that are coming out. For example, the latest deal that we offered our, our DAOs was Singularity DAO, which again we're we're closely aligned with. So, yeah, so being a DAO member really gives you a lot of advantages in terms of having access to these trading tools, and then. Um, it, it, it also has access to an incubator fund that is geared towards accelerating, supporting, investing in early stage projects and helping them helping them grow in this ecosystem. So we're really excited about this. Um, as I said, we've always been a community driven project and the things that we build out, the tools that we build out, uh, the focus is how many of our members actually want to use that. So it's, uh, it's always been about that. And I think, uh, uh, the DAO and just the way that we operate, how we transition within the organization, that will will really take us a long way in in building the right tools and products that the community ultimately wants. Mm -hmm. That's great to hear, and that there's also uh, an incubation platform and a launchpad to to help other projects that that you see value in. So I'm I'm interested to hear more about that, uh, but. I, I wanted to go back to Origin and the partners that you that you mentioned. Uh, obviously, partnering with Origin is going to be huge for the token ecosystem. I'm curious about other partners uh, that Antonio has. Have you partnered with other exchanges or strategic partners to help either build a liquidity or services or, or make strategic alliances to, to help grow Antonio? So that's partnerships is one of the uh, one of the one of the things that has been of extreme value for us. Uh, our team and just the way that we've built stuff, we've been able to build pretty strong relationships with uh, layer one, layer two protocols, centralized and decentralized exchanges. And just uh, given the nature of our solutions, we are able to collaborate with all of these. So the, mm -hmm. the current partner list includes, speaking of layer one or layer two protocols, we have Polygon, which is, uh, um, I mean, the team is amazing. We have, we've been working with them for a while on, on numerous stuff. And so we partner with Polygon, already deployed our exchange. So Smart Dex is already deployed on Polygon network. We partnered with Conflux network that has uh, supported us in the form of grants in order to build and deploy our tools onto Conflux network. And uh, um, so these are some of, and then there's Elrond. Elrond, mm -hmm. we partnered with them last year. We've been developing our tools and we'll soon be deploying our uh, protocol and exchange onto Elrond. Mm -hmm. So apart from layer one, layer two protocols, we have exchanges with, again, we have a symbiotic relationship with them where we integrate these exchanges uh, carry out liquidity mining protocols that li drives liquidity for them. And so these exchanges are uh, Crypto.com among the centralized exchanges, Ascendex. These are the two mm -hmm. major exchanges that we've partnered with thus far. And then in decentralized exchanges, there's Loopring that have also, shout out to Loopring because uh, they were early backers, they supported us, they understood the value proposition of these trading tools and the liquidity mining protocols. So yeah, these Tomo chain, these are some of the exchanges, some of the folks that we partnered with. Uh, and finally, there is Singularity Net. Uh, we were incubated by Singularity Net, which is a decentralized AI, one of the leading decentralized AI projects in the space in 2019. And since then, we've been working with them on uh, numerous uh, aspects. We recently welcomed their CEO, Ben, as part of our advisory group. So mm -hmm. yeah, these uh, all of these strategic partnerships, they add a lot of value uh, to, to our project. And uh, yeah, it's, it's certainly be one of the one of the strong suits and something that we're 
very excited about working with more layer one and layer two protocols. Mm -hmm. Definitely. That sounds like some great partnerships uh, to have, Ali. So congratulations on that, that so far and uh, working towards you know more widespread and mainstream adoption of these uh, DeFi liquidity platforms. Can you talk about, you know, we're, we're sort of running uh, short on time, but I wanna talk about the future uh, of the platform and, and what you see as being one of the key factors to success uh, in having widespread adoption and being one of those go-to places uh, for traders to come and, and use your services in the DeFi space. So this year, we have a lot of updates coming up for our suite. So the suite, as I said, includes the decentralized exchange. We're coming up with SmartDex V2, which is inspired by Balancers V2. It gives us a lot of composability, dynamic fees, and allows us to implement the IMM that I previously mentioned. So the SmartDex V2 deployment upgrades to the Swarm. There's a campaign that's live right now on Polygon, uh, on Crypto.com with Polygon. We're going to see more of these campaigns. We're going to see, we've been researching a lot on the decentralized AI side, we'll be publishing our research findings and integrating them into our tools. So these are the technical updates that we got lined up. We have a staking dashboard that would allow users to stake their tokens, um, claim their rewards and access everything related to our token and our ecosystem. And uh, finally, we have a, a, a deploy deployment that I'm personally very excited about, and that is Cardano. And uh, we're, we're really excited mm -hmm. to be one of the first DEXs that will be live on Cardano. So wow. those are the things to look forward to. In terms of um, the key factors for the long-term success of the project, um, there's a few, but if I had to pick just one, it has to be the 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 dedicated and ambitious team that we've been able to build. And uh, mm -hmm. um, we've, over the years, we've been, we've proven ourselves to be a team that operates irrespective of how the market moves, irrespective of what the funding situation is. And this persistence, this resilience, I think, is uh, one of the key factors uh, that will ensure our long-term success. And there's, of course, the quality of our products, the expertise that these team members have, the strong relationships that we've, that we've built. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. Well, well said. And I'm really, really looking forward to those updates, especially with the Cardano ecosystem. That's really exciting and it is up and coming. So I will be watching for that. For the viewers that are looking to follow along uh, with Antonio's updates and, and see all these great new rollouts uh, and, and use the platform right now, what's the best way for them to get involved? Um, follow us on Twitter. Uh, the handle is AI underscore A-U-T-O-N-I-O. So that's AI underscore Antonio. You can visit our website. The blog has the latest updates, Telegram and I personally, our team is generally very accessible on, on Telegram. So don't miss out. We're doing some exciting stuff and I hope to see you guys uh, join us and see, see how, we, how we move. Definitely. Thanks so much for your time, Ali. I will leave those links in the description box below. All the best moving forward and let's follow up in the near future. All right. Thank you so much for having me.